So he told me, why is it important to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after we say the name of Muhammad? So, who's Muhammad? The messenger. The messenger, prophet, messenger. Yes, what did he do, Muhammad? He told everyone to be kind. He told everyone to be kind. Is it easy to tell everyone to be kind? Is it easy? Or are if, just think about it, give it a thought. Are everyone kind? Is it easy to tell everyone to be kind? No. no. That's hard, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see your mother when she's trying so hard to, to tell you be kind. That's a harder job, right? Yes. Yeah, why? Why is it a harder job? Because you have to work. I think you have to work for it. Yes. You have to work for it. You have to be kind yourself first. Then you have to you have to bring some a certain energy and then it's too hard to make people kind because people they just go nuts naturally like that, right? Is it? So to make people go kind, to tell everyone to be kind, is it is an easy mission or a difficult mission? Huh? Difficult. Difficult. Just difficult or very difficult? Very. Can we say it is the most difficult mission on earth? Yes. So we agreed now that the most difficult mission on earth is to tell people to be kind. Even though we are and and kind, helpful. kind and helpful. It's, it's so difficult to, to bring people to that state of consciousness. We call that consciousness. It's too difficult to help people rise to that state of consciousness to be kind and helpful. Look at this. If you don't be kind, then the prophet is not going to be happy with you. Yeah, you see. So, Muhammad Hadi added another layer now to this, to this, to this tragedy. So, if you are not kind, the heart of the prophet will be um, in pain. So, can you imagine how pain is that in that heart nowadays, with all those people are not being kind and helpful? Uh, and caring, thank you for adding that word, you know. Can you see, can you imagine the state of that heart? Sophia, you imagine the state of the heart of that beautiful human being who came to us to, to tell us to be kind, caring and helpful. Seeing the humanity today, killing one another, not being kind, not even to their parents, not being helpful, not even to their teachers, not being caring. Can you see? You see how? So his mission is difficult outside and also inside his heart, right? So what, what a person like that needs? Huh, Jibreel, what does he need? A person who is having a difficult mission and a great pain in his heart, what does he need? Um, he needs love. Ooh, he needs love. He needs love, so we need to show him love and send him love, Never. right? Never. And that's what it means, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. It's just to show him love and send him love. What else does he need? Uh, kindness. He needs kindness. He needs us to make sure that at least, at least he has some few, few good students, right? At least some good students, at least one or two. A person who has that difficult mission, whose heart is full of pain for humanity, he needs love and he needs? Help. Who? He needs help. He needs help. He needs power. He needs his power and help. Can we help him? Yes. Yes? How can we help him? By, by showing him help. By showing him help. But also by asking, praying for him. Praying for God to empower his soul. Yes. Um, because if he, if everybody is, is, is bad, then prophet then Allah will tell the prophet to come and help him out. Yeah, yes. So, and he is. The soul of the prophet is still there shining. It's like the sunlight. So there is sun in the in the sky that is sending light to the to the trees to grow. But there is the sun of Nubuat. There is the sun of Sayyidina Muhammad. And the suns and the stars of Anbiya, they are still there on the heaven. We don't see them with our eyes, but they are they, our, the eyes of our hearts see that. And that's what makes, allows the faith and beauty in our hearts to grow. Yes. 
Okay, it belongs to the state of Fatima. She's part of it. Yes, yes. If you, if if you don't, if 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 you do something bad, Allah will I will get mad at you. Uh oh, would he? I would say he would be hurt. I don't think you'll get mad, but he would be hurt. But because we love Allah, we don't want him to be hurt. Allah doesn't get mad, but he does get hurt. You know, like your mom, he doesn't get mad, but she does get hurt. You don't want, you don't want Allah who loves you to get hurt, right? We care for Allah. We don't want Allah to be hurt. Yes. Ah, uh, if we. If we do something bad, in judgment day, he will talk to us. Yeah, uh, he will talk to us. He will tell, why did you hurt me so much? Yes, that's what he will say. Actually, actually, listen, listen, listen to this story. I'll say the story and then I'll give you the mic, okay? Actually, day of judgment, Prophet Muhammad taught us something. That a person came in front of Allah and Allah told him, you hurt me so much. You are not a good friend to me. Seriously, seriously, you neglected my fr our friendship. <gasps> and that person said, I neglected our friendship, but I was praying all day. I said, no, I was sick and you did not come and visit me. And that person said, oh, Allah, I don't think you got sick. I, uh, I ne uh, we were never told that you get sick. Guess what Allah said? He said, when your friend so-and-so got sick, and you knew about it and you were able to give, to visit that friend of yours, and you did not go to visit him, you hurt me. When you hurt his heart, his feelings, you hurt my feelings. Hello? So when we hurt the feelings of someone, we are hurting the feelings of who? Allah. Allah! 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 He shakes the throne. And then, he goes on, Allah, and he tell, and, and another opportunity, I gave you another opportunity, yet you did not show me kindness and you neglected our friendship. My, your friend so-and-so needed help one day, and you were able to give him a hand, and you, and you said, no, I'm not going to help you, go to the government. Yeah, said, you broke his heart, therefore you broke my heart. Oh, breaking the heart of Allah, oh yes. And then, a third one, he told him, and then, I gave you another opportunity to show me kindness and to show that you care for our friendship. And when my friend, when your friend so-and-so was hungry, he did not have food. And you had more than enough food for yourself and for your family. Yet you decided to put that leftover in the fridge instead of inviting your friend, your neighbor, hungry, right next door, and share food with him. Then I was hungry and did not feed me. Then you did not care for our friendship. So that's how the Day of Judgment will be like. He's not going to be mad, he's going to be hurt. He'll tell, my friends, why have you neglected our friendship? And he says, that's, that's what the day of truth looks like, my friends. Yes. And he, and he will talk to his, this, his friends. Allah will not talk to his friends again. No, actually after that it will be okay, good, thank you now. And because Allah is Allah is big, like he's a big friend. And, and just, the, he, as long as they say, we're sorry, if they say we are sorry, that's it, it's over. Okay? So when you do something wrong, what should you say? Sorry. Sorry, that's it. So please just say sorry, forgive me, that's it. That's the key, that's the key to paradise, okay? Just sorry, forgive me. Okay, so master it. But it has to come from your heart, right? Mm. Yes, just a minute. Sorry. Feelings. Absolutely, even more. Even more, right? Because because when someone tells you what, why you hurt them and how did you hurt them, 
you know, right? And then even after that, you don't say, oh, I'm sorry, now I see how did I hurt your feelings. I'm so sorry I did hurt your feelings. That's even more hurting, right? That hurts even more. Oh my God, yes. And you know, break Allah's heart when they don't say sorry, it's gonna break Allah's heart. Yes, yes, it goes to break Allah's heart even more. So, so when we when we say well, that we are talking about Allah, uh, we're talking we were talking about the Prophet, and we say the Prophet is is that a human being who 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 has a heart, who who is having the heart of Allah. You yeah, understand that what, what the Prophet is? A man of God is a person who who walks on earth with the feelings of Allah. So when you break the heart of Allah, you break his heart. Right? And then and then that's why that the human being needs what? You said it. He needs love, he needs help, he needs empowerment. And that's why we pray, he needs prayers. That's why we say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad to say What happened? What happened after that in the story? What happened after the end of the story? There will be another one, yeah. So, um, what I'm trying to say is, so if we don't give Allah fairness, yes. he won't like it and it will break his heart. Yeah, so we should, we should, we should, we should be kind. We should be kind to one another to be, we should love, show, show love to one another. Yes, the candies are coming. So we should love, we should, we should show love to one another. Huh? So, okay, can someone bring those candies for me so these kids come back? <laughs> you love the candy more or Hamdi more? Ahmed. You love Hamdi more. Okay, so no candy for you. No, more candy for you. <laughs>